In response to the requests from our previous videos, here are some pretty unique and interesting things you most likely don't know the purpose of. So let's get on with it. Amazing! Number nine, thick black tubes across the road. These are pneumatic road tubes and are temporary installments generally used to study traffic patterns and help make decisions for planning purposes about things like stop signs and traffic lights. These tubes can detect the type of vehicles using the road by measuring the weight that goes over the tubes and the distance between each wheel that rolls over it. They can also accurately measure and calculate the speed of vehicles using the time interval between each tube being run over. They're very simple and cheap methods to gather traffic data for road and traffic planning, and they're often employed by local governments and or highway agencies. Number eight, num lock. This key has a simple purpose and the majority of you know what it's for, but probably don't know why it's there. When NumLock is on, your keypad on the right of your keyboard will work like a normal phone dialer, with the numbers zero to nine working as normal. However, when NumLock is off, the arrows and terms below the numbers will work in place of these numbers. This key and pad is actually a bit of a remnant from the transformation from the 83 key keyboard to the modern 104 key keyboard. It may seem a little pointless as the exact same keys have been reconfigured to the left of it on new modern keyboards, but there are still some people out there whose brains are still wired to the old key positioning. Number seven, these projected things on aircraft wings. These things are called flap track fairings. There are a number of different names for these pods that stick out, including anti-shock barriers or with comb bodies. These are actually only the covers of the whole mechanism underneath that control the flaps at the back of the wing, and they are shaped in this particular way for aerodynamic reasons. So when planes fly without them, you don't have to be worried because it just means they're less efficient as they really just have a pretty mundane purpose, that of reducing wave drag. Number six, wires extending off airplanes. These are called static discharges and usually stick out of the trailing edges of aircraft, including the back of wings and tails of airplanes. What they do is prevent the buildup of electric charges around the radio antennas. If these wires weren't there, the antennas of the radios would be the most pointy things sticking out of the plane. And since electrons have a tendency to build up where pointy things stick out, charge would build up around radio antennas. This is bad because they cause interference, meaning that without these static discharges, an aircraft would not be able to perform continuous satisfactory operation as onboard navigation and radio communication systems would start to malfunction. Number five, rings on headphone jacks. Each of these are non-conductive insulating rings, which basically insulate one section from the next in order to represent which components get power. Typically, one ring means that there are two sections, so the plug is mono and plays the same sound to both stereo headphones, and regular stereo headphones will tend to have two rings, creating three sections, with two of them providing the connection to the left and right speakers. If you plug a three-ringed audio jack into something, it means that your device is designed to have a microphone, although sometimes the device you plug it into, like a computer, might have a separate microphone port, so it might not work there. Number four, the fin on the roof of cars. These are just cases hiding GPS antennas. Sometimes they're added for aesthetics, but the fin also somewhat helps with aerodynamics. Number three, two flush buttons. These are dual flush buttons and the toilet experts amongst you are probably just about to comment about how everyone should know this one, but it's worth explaining just so the few of you who don't know about it now do, because it's features like this that can make a real difference. This is how simple it is. The two buttons flush different amounts of water, so prevent wastage. The smaller button is for a half flush and the bigger button is for a full flush. Basically, you should only really be pushing the larger one for a number two. Number two, tic-tac lids. There's a reason for this sort of tic-tac bed on the inside of the lid. It's there to add ease to retrieving a single mint, saving you from recklessly shaking out your mint. This ingenious relief area allows you to reveal your mints in style by placing the box upside down and opening the lid as you tilt the rest of the box back down. Number one, the ball or disc above the rotor on helicopters. 
This is a fire control radar and is seen on numerous attack helicopters such as the Apache. Essentially, it's designed to provide information such as elevation and range to a fire control system in order to calculate a fire solution. In other words, it detects information on how to direct weapons such that they hit a desired target. The reason it's on the top of the helicopter is so that the helicopter can hide behind hills, hovering so that the disc is just looking over the ridge. It can then spot an enemy tank, lock onto it, and either pop up for an anti-tank missile and re-hide, or simply use it to direct heavy artillery fire to that location. So, would you like to see more of these videos, or do you have any other things you want explaining? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to Be Amazed.